ladies and gentlemen it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are kindly consider to like this video i if you like this video it's a kind of job offer you are doing to this channel and this great video might reach to several people in youtube platform ladies and gentlemen i have observed political regret from the people in azimio coalition and they have now come out publicly to demand their interest by now telling Kenyans the real reality in the society we are today. The reason why I've said this is because Baba Wino Wamuchomba, who is who was once working under UDA Doctrine Party, have officially comes out and issued ultimatum for demos by Monday. In any case, Sosa Nakumicha and the rest will not sort the issue of doctors. Nakumicha and Babu Wino today have surprised Kenyans and create panic in Kenya Kwanza administration by calling upon the government to consider people's welfare or else they are going to bother the same boat with the doctors and go back to the street. That is whatever Gadhonu Wamuchomba, Babo Wino and any other and other leaders who came from both sides of uh, Azimio coalition and the uh, wiper reacted on that. Even operate on them. I'm sure you know the economic stress that Kenyans are going through and they cannot afford to sustain private hospitals medication and therefore we are losing thousands of Kenyans in homes abandoned because of lack of medical attention. This is something that as leaders, young leaders of Kenya, members of parliament who have conscience and who feel that they should speak for the people who elected them and trusted them, we have to keep speaking. We were here last week and we asked the government to actually think on uh, strategies and approaches on how they are going to sort out doctor's strike. It is very sad to hear that even the clinical officers want to join in this, in this strike. It is very sad. I want to beseech the government of Kenya, the Kenya Kwanzaa government, which I am part of, to kindly re listen to the plea of Kenyans. The many patients who are succumbing into various medical issues because of lack of medical attention, which is supposed to be actually be provided by our doctors and our clinical officers. I also want to say this. Doctors are voters like any other voters of Kenya. And if we have to fight for voters of Kenya, doctors are part of those voters. And therefore, their small votes, even if there are 10 of them, should be respected. I want to call out on a, a scheme I can see coming. A government sabotage scheme that is coming from within the government of Kenya. It cannot be that we are sabotaging ourselves when it comes to issues of economy. We are sabotaging ourselves medically. We are sabotaging ourselves agriculturally when we provide fake fertilizers to our people. We are sabotaging our education system by refusing to give out money meant for capitation to our schools. I don't know whether you know that as we speak, public schools are closing this week. And some of them have already closed. But the amount of money that was supposed to be given for capitation for first term, it is still yet to be released to our schools. And the money that was released by the ministry, it was clearly labeled that that money is to be used for second term. So we are asking, where is the capitation money for first term? That is to mean any school that had debts between January and April, that school is going to start receiving auctioneers. And these are issues we are talking about of sabotage. Who is sabotaging the government of Kenya? I think this is time for us to start calling spades. A spoon is a spoon, a spade is a spade. A problem is a problem. I know you're wondering, why are these few members of parliament speaking? Because these are the people who have the conscience. We all swore to protect the constitution of Kenya. We all took an oath and, 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 and voted to fight for the rights of, Kenya, of Kenyans enshrined in the Kenyan constitution. It is not right and it is not business as usual for us to see doctors in the street under the rains. We are seeing doctors striking the whole day, yet our mothers, our fathers, our young sons, our young daughters 
are agonizing in the corridors of our, our public hospital. It can never be business as usual. And therefore, we are still calling out the government, saying as team ground, he in the team ground, sisi hatuta choka kuitana wakati kuna mashida na kuna siyasa ambazo zinaharibu maisha ya watu wa Kenya. Kama fertilizer ni mbaya, tunasema ni mbaya. Kama doktaris wameachiliwa, tunasema wameachiliwa. Kama masomo haiendi kisawasawa, tunasema masomo haiendi kisawasawa. We are team ground, our work is to listen to the ground and amplify the voices of the voiceless. The people who trusted us and trusted us with their votes. And that is why we are members of parliament. People don't suffer on the ground. We don't want uh, the government to demand. You must come with the rule of equals and opposites. Number one, invite, do not demand. So when the government is demanding that doctors must go back, what are they trying to do? And number two, when you push, we, and we means the KMPDU, doctors and members of parliament, when you push as the government, we will push. When we pull, we will resist. When we demand, we will refuse. And when we insist, we will turn you down. We want this defunct government to move with speed. The president should not leave the country when there's a serious crisis, when people are dying. The health ministry is unhealthy. The health ministry is sick. The country is sick. No. How it all went. And that is how they decided. Then I ask myself, after watching that video, is Baba Wino, Gadoni wa Muchomba, are capable enough to lead people in the street as compared to Raila Odinga? <laughs> and I, what I have realized, ladies and gentlemen, is that these people are having interest on Kenyans. But they cannot make it because what have made them to react that way is the peer pressure on Kalozo Msioka's silence, on Raila Odinga's silence, and any other people like Eugene Wamalwa and Alia Sanjo who are now just concentrating for presidential race 2027. Now, the big question here is that, what, why, why do you think Baba Wino, Gadoni Wamuchomba and the rest now wants to join Doctor's Strike? And in fact, they are calling Kenyans to bother the same boat of that, of, with them. That is whatever we want to analyze. But before I do that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take, take this golden chance to thank you very much for the support that you always offer to this channel. Because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached where it is as of now. Thank you very much and may God bless you so much. Kindly share this video to your friends, family and relatives. Let's proceed. As you border the same boat with the members. Wamuchomba and Baba Wino declares mass action in the Republic of Kenya today as we are speaking. What is there is that they are feeling emotion. They are feeling emotional on Kalozo Msioka's silence. On Rail Udinga's silence. And I say it very well that President Ruto is a very smart political leader in the country. He has smarted both Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka. And that is why Ruto decided to give these people hope on job promises in order to rule on his own interest. Because he saw that Raila Odinga is a threat to him. So the best thing is to convince him on the AU job. Simple as that. So Baba Wino and Wamuchomba plus the team are now feeling that pinch that they have been neglected and no one is ready to, 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 to take emotion publicly in order for president to, 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 to see. Now, these people have represent the voice of the voiceless and such are the leaders in Kenya we want today. For sincerely speaking, the country is in a mess, is on a mess. Let's not lie to each other. Now, this ugly fallout between the government 
and the empress is now emerging. And they must be keen enough. Babuino and Wamuchoma might influence several MPs, even to vote vote of no confidence to President Ruto. What, the one who might help him is Moses Masika Wetangula, Kimani Ichungwa, and Lini Inyoro. That is how Ruto has matted them. Because apu kwa parliament aliweka Kimani Ichungwa, kama Python, Lini Inyoro, <laughs> na wewa senator, uh, Osoro. So he knew all these tactics, political games they were doing. But you listen to Babuin and Gadoni Wamuchomba. I have also observed that these people are speaking this way because Azimio is not active, is no longer active. Every person deserve, is on his way or away. Someone to join the government someone to to do their own things now these people are feeling emotional and they have seen kenyans are suffering the best leadership we can appreciate the character of a good leadership we can appreciate right now is the people like gadoni wamuchomba the people like babo wino let's hope that they will carry on this way as much as they are trying to defend Kenyan's right. As much as they are trying to tell the government the truth. Because right now, the Kenya Kwanza government is no longer working for Kenyans. When you look at the CS, we are seeing fake fertilizers. We are seeing Susanna Komicha. We are seeing more comment. We are seeing several of them, how they behave. No one cares. Their agenda is that who cares? As the boss is our friend. As the boss is our best brother for a long time. That is whatever is now happening. And what I have again observed is that President Ruto made a good uh, relationship with the, the, the current CS. So these people are reluctant and they no longer have interest to work for Kenyans. That is why you are now seeing Gadoni Wamuchomba, Babo Wino are now coming out. They want to prepare the doctors, border the same boat with them uh, on demos. And they are calling upon Kenyans to go back to the streets. Simple as that. <laughs> so, how is it going to be possible? How is it going to work? How will Raila react? First of all, because Raila is the current principal of Azimio, remember that. How will Kalonzo Msioka react? I know they will come and say, oh, it is good for demos to fight for your right. But these people were mefinywa. Ukiangalia kalonzo pia mefinywa uko. Muta asikudangani. I said and I will keep on saying that President Ruto want to rule one party state. That is his interest and that is his aim. That is why he's checking upon kalonzo msioka. He's checking upon oh, Raila Odinga. Because these are the only threat he had. In the country. So Babo Wino and Gadoni Wamuchomba are the young and upcoming political leaders who speak the truth and they are standing firm to defend Kenyans. They are the people whom I normally listen to because Azimio is no longer active. Even the other people of UDA, they are feeling that pinch. Then we ask ourselves. When will the government deliver the promises to the people? Yesterday I did the analysis of Omuchomba. How it is, it is, she discontracted Moses Kuria on lines. They normally said Moses Kuria was tongue-tied and he couldn't explain himself. So that is whatever is now happening. Prepare for demos. As have been said by Babo Wino and Galoni Wamuchomba. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you say on this political shockwave we are now receiving in this late hour? Thank you very much and I want to appreciate you as you like this video. Watch, share and give us your opinion at the comment section below. Bye bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion.